Every day, people buy stuff from all over the world. Hundreds of thousands will buy a pair of jeans. They're made from cotton. That could have been grown in India, in Turkey, in the United States, in Egypt. It has the distinctive weave that characterizes denim. It's been dyed blue with an indigo dye. Uh, that used to come from the tropics. These days, it probably comes from a chemical factory in Germany. It's stonewashed, probably rotated in tubs with pumice from the Italian island of Lipari. It has copper rivets, almost certainly mined in Chile. And that copper, mixed with zinc mined in Canada, makes brass for the zip fastener. There's a leather patch that probably comes from Argentina or maybe North Africa. By the time you count those involved in advertising, in promoting, in retailing them, hundreds of thousands of people have cooperated together without ever meeting each other in order to produce this garment. It's unlikely that any of them will ever meet the person who actually buys this. They cooperated unwittingly. All of them were trying to advance their own condition. In doing so, they made it possible for people to buy this. One of the big fallacies of our time is that people say we should all try to be self-sufficient. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Adam Smith famously said, it is possible on the slopes of Ben Nevis, by means of hot walls and glass houses, you could grow grapes and from them you could make perfectly good wine. The French already do that at one thirtieth of what it would cost us to do it. Moral of the story, buy the French wine and with the 29 thirtieths we've saved, buy other stuff and we're richer. People have argued protectionism in every political society. Always manufacturers dislike competition, especially when it's cheaper and more efficient than they are. Frederick Bastiat, in the middle of the 19th century, the French thinker, economist and politician, proposed in a spoof essay that unfair competition to the candle makers should be stopped. Someone out there was producing light cheaper than they could, and this was unfair. This was the sun he wanted shot up, and he was demanding shutters in every home to prevent this unfair competition to the poor French candle makers. People have always argued for protectionism, and they've always been wrong. This only makes us poorer if we have to pay more expensively for our goods or higher taxes to support domestic manufacturers. We're poorer, we can't afford as much stuff. Is there a moral to this story? Yes, of course. It's that we should trade as widely as possible, buy from the widest markets we can, sell to the widest markets we can. The more trade takes place, the more wealth is created. If we buy cheaper from abroad, that leaves us richer. If we pay them money to buy their goods, that leaves them richer. Everybody gains. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.